Oh my god, check this out. This is soap. How cool is that? Soap. Okay, it doesn't smell like anything else. <laughs> Adventure! Thank God I got a good tampon. Don't have to hide it. The is bleeding. Hey, curious fuckers. Um, <laughs> on a train. Um, Off to Bed Bedfordshire. Bedfordshire. I mean, we like the title of that already, don't we? <laughs> we are creating some really exciting content for Lustry, who are an ethical porn platform. You do with real couples filming themselves having sex and we're gonna go and chat to some hi florence and reed my name is eva i'm reed we've been together for two years we're in an open relationship i'm april this is oliver so we've been together like nine years we have like <laughs> A, a, a not miss a word. Um, very closed relationship. That's the word, isn't it? Oh yeah, no, a closed relationship. It's always just been us. Yeah. Aww. This station is Bet Bet Baby. Oh, we're here. Hello. Hi, Hi you two. Hello. We are here. Yes, come in. Oh yes, perfect. We turn on some lights because we're really professionals. <laughs> We really know what we're doing. <laughs> well, I'm Amy. And I'm JR. We started, I suppose... 2017. We used to like taking pictures, movies of ourselves. For fun, for, for just for us. Then one day an idea came to mind of, well, maybe you could make some money with this or share it. So I will confess that it was my idea. And I said... Oh, really? I, I said, I think... <laughs> I think uh, <laughs> there might be uh, a market uh, for you showing bits of your bod on the internet. And Amy's exact response was, who would pay to look at me? <laughs> oh, that, that's what? a true story. No. And, and was, look where she is now. I was approaching a certain age and felt, I'm not, I'm not the age people look at. That's what I thought. Oh, it's done mm. her self-confidence, the yes. absolute... Yeah. Uh, be all and, and end all. It, it's made a big, <laughs> big difference to how I feel about myself. The boost in the whole thing in Amy's confidence is is uh, she's a very different lady. To yeah, years, seven, eight, nine years ago. This is our house, and we're gonna show you around a bit. Welcome to my crib. <laughs> okay, let's go and do this. Up there is restricted right now. Um, we've got a bedroom up there. Our daughter's asleep. Another bedroom. Our son is also asleep. Another bedroom. Our son is also asleep. <laughs> Excuse the mess. This is actually where the magic happens. I, I don't think we've actually done a video in here before though. It's since been in this house, I think we've done three videos. This is where the magic will happen for you, but it happens for me. <laughs> We're doing a documentary on sex. <laughs> we've, we've filmed two videos in here. This is like a swing swing, it's not like a sex swing, but we still had sex on the swing, it's not a sex swing. <laughs> But the hardest part about doing it is placing the camera. And we were thinking about hanging this camera from the beam. Viewed from up high going down is better. That's why we just sat on the floor and then we go. Oh yeah, like this. Yeah. Oh, see, that's great. Let us show you our brows. Yeah. This is my bedroom. Um, it has a lot of natural light, which is perfect because everyone looks their best <laughs> in natural light. And the white walls are good for the bouncing light back as well. So it's good to have white walls if you want to film porn, just so you know. <laughs> All of the sex toys are in, in, box. in that box. Unicorn dildo, a glass dildo, pro satisfier too, a strap on. This is a massage gun. Basically you wear it and you turn your hands into different type of dildos. This is a really extra dildo. I... <laughs> After this, can I have a cup of tea? Yeah. How did we get into the porn industry? He come home one day from work and he goes, do you want to do a video? Uh, what kind of video? Do you want to do a sex video? At first I was very, very skeptical, but then thinking about it and breaking it down, it's just sex. It's a natural thing. Porn, it's natural. <laughs> I saw last three, I was reading about that. I clicked like the apply button and did all whatever you need to do. It was years ago now, so. And I thought I wasn't going to hit back. I got an email back in like a few hours and then you got home. 
The company in general is just amazing. The, the way that they treat us, they're so unjudgmental about what we do and they're just sort of like, yeah, you do you. We're amateurs. And they're very, very accepting of that and they're very accepting of everybody. And it's just beautiful. It's just fucking beautiful. The realness of Lustre and certainly some of the feedback of the stuff we've received, it's real. Yeah, it's um, normal people doing what they enjoy. Um, and, it's, it's, and that's what makes the difference. We've, we've had quite a lot of feedback from of people of our age-ish. Um, mm. I'm 21, Amy's 20. <laughs> um, but obviously uh, feedback from people of, of our age, just saying it's really uh, got them going, that people, once you, oh. once you hit a certain age... I'm not ashamed at my age still to be <gasps> doing things. It's a stereotype that, you yes. know, you lose your sexual libido and you don't want to bother anymore. And also it shouldn't, it shouldn't be seen, you know, nobody likes their parents doing it. Uh, have you always been interested in making porn in general? I actually kind of always did, like even when I was like a lot younger, I remember watching porn and thinking, oh my God, I want to look like those girls, which is probably not what you're supposed to be thinking, but I was thinking that. I was obsessed with like in a 1950s porn. I used to have oh, loads yeah. of photos of like Betty Page. Page. Yeah. <laughs> And I, I've personally never like, been fully interested in porn until I did it and now it's like oh yeah no let's see how many like because we have multiple couples on Lustry it's like oh how many videos did that have they done? Other couples on Lustry I watch often. Why what about you? It doesn't, I don't think it really does it for me. Really? It does it when you watch our videos. Yeah but that's because it's you. Don't get weird. Oh, <laughs> so sweet. When I was at school, sex education was grotty magazines. Yeah. Uh, and I think all, all boys. What really got us into really producing our own stuff is that uh, this one worked for a couple of companies. And when we saw the finished product, I volunteered about that. I think we can do that better. And again, it was this kind of more <clears throat> natural, realistic, not the American over the top. Oh, like, make me calm, make me you know, calm. This is <laughs> yeah. So it was normal people doing normal things, yeah. and that's what we did. And I think that's what yeah. it should be like. Also, like you want to see porn that's actually pleasuring people because people use it as sex education. Yeah. So they're going to go into the bedroom, see, I see all that position in porn, and then they're going to go and do it, and they're like, well, why isn't she uh, moaning? Uh, like, why isn't the it girl working? in the porn? Yes, yeah. Why isn't like, that working? We want to do, we, you know, you want to do the things that may actually yeah. feel good. And in different places. Mm -hmm. Which is why we're banned from the supermarket. Yes! <laughs> well, I have like loads of creative ideas. Like, I'm really into film, like I was a film student. So if I see like there's something really aesthetic, like I'll file it away in like my little ideas box. <laughs> there's so many amazing creators and now that create porn that's really, really beautiful. Yeah, especially now, I think it's moving towards like independent porn rather than like studios, yeah. which I kind of prefer because uh, I've never really fit into the studio box. I just want to be good at what I do. You see too many not nice ones. So you kind of want to try and be your best and I think that's all I've ever done. So how does porn fit into your daily life? On my last job, I, um, I told everyone about it. They were all like okay with it, but be trying to go about my day job and it would like come up in conversation I'm um, trying to work it and I don't know a lot of people I work with know that I do porn saying that I am a carer a lot of people that I do see have dementia <laughs> it's not just the filming the doing Jonathan yeah. has to do all the editing then you have your own promotion it can take up 24 7 if you let it we try to always give ourselves you know come the weekend I might do some uploading or something on a Saturday morning and then that's it stop because you've got to have a life balance as well oh, definitely um, same as we don't film everything we do together as a couple because some things you need to do for yourself yeah sort of thing so it, it is a balance yeah. of trying to do certain things on certain days we obviously live together we work together but then during the lockdown we were in each other's hair 24 <laughs> um, 7. it works don't don't ask me how um, it's a, and as also i think as far as my job side you've always backed me on that hmm? I'm so, very, we're very proud of what you do so you know it, it's it's our whole lifestyle and our job all wrapped up in one. And it pays the bills? Yes. 
which is nice. Yeah. And it's also really cool to look back at the videos we've done. Oh, yeah, especially like some of the really old stuff. Yeah, like... it's really cute. <laughs> <laughs> it's memories for us. I know it sounds ridiculous because it's sex that we record. <laughs> I mean, a bit of fun trying to decide what we're going to do and where we're going to do it, how we're going to I think the funniest one we did was making a cake. I remember going into Sainsbury's and like lifting up my skirt and stuff like that. It was the adrenaline man. <laughs> we, we tried to always do it in a different location as well. Um, so uh, yeah, when we lived in the flat, we did it like every, every room. room. Do your neighbours know what you do? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> Some might know, but they don't say it. Have... But we're also here they in, don't in, say in, in the UK, me. unlike more liberal parts of Europe, here in the UK it's just sexism and something is... Yes. We, we pay our taxes. Exactly. And we, Sex we... work is work. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so yeah, we usually will make most of our porn in our homes just because it's easier. It is easier. We and cheaper. <laughs> use a tripod. Mm, usually yeah. phone. These days you can make pretty much everything you want on a mobile phone and very similar quality. Mm. This is actually what we use to hold the camera. This is our little tripod. And this is pretty much all we use because... Basic bitches. Basic bitches. And the beauty about Lustre is that if someone falls off the bed or someone says a rude word or <laughs> the postman knocks on the door or whatever, um, that's real. The POV stuff. The POV stuff can be very funny. I felt like a darling. Um, it's very hard. <laughs> <laughs> it was very hard to continue what I was doing. Yeah. Um, it took me a little while to stop the whole thing. It's, it is fun and creative, but it's, it's definitely like a creative hobby. Like I think of it as an art form. Yeah. And I mean, I was in a film that was in a porn film festival once, so there you go. <laughs> it, it is art. Do you think you'll be making videos forever? Yes. As long as you want to, honey. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna stop. Like when I get a bit older, so what? I could just remarket myself as a milf and then a dolf. Yeah. Dolf? I don't know. Yeah, actually. Who knows? Yeah, milfs and then gilfs. We're doing yeah, this forever. They, I mean, it's not gonna stop. Why should it? It's weird you should ask that. I was thinking about that last night. <laughs> really? That's really strange. Um, we've always said it's entirely her decision when she says, I want to stop. You know, if, 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 if there ever came a time when I just decided oh, I'm not enjoying this, mm -hmm. it's not fun anymore, then I think that's the time when you've got to say, okay, step back. That's the whole point of my stuff. People see I enjoy what I do. Mm -hmm. and, and if I'm not being funny, if it's not in the eyes and you're not enjoying it, then it doesn't work. What stigmas about performers would you like to get rid of? That is dirty. <laughs> that somehow it makes you dirty. And it's something like filthy and horrible and we don't actually want to do it. Um, mm. It's just simply isn't true. Nope. Strippers, exotic dancers, people that do porn, it's all perceived as dirty. And it's not dirty, it's completely, it's your natural body. If an exotic dancer wants to go and show her boobies to the world because they're good boobies, you do that, girl. But you have sex. The difference is we film it. That's the stigma. We're not dirty, we just like sex. And to film it. Yeah. <laughs> and most performers that I know are super normal, like they have kids, families, and, and hobbies like everybody else. Like, sorry to say it's not all that exciting. Oh yeah, the people think it's really easy. They're like, oh, oh yeah, yeah, I'm just gonna do porn. I'm just gonna be a stripper. <laughs> and you're like, oh. Okay, <laughs> mate, try it, come back to me. <laughs> You know, it's, it's the British mentality. It's just, yes. Don't don't talk about it. Um, that's just this. That's, that's what I'd like to. Yeah, I'd like to see more open. You know, discuss it. Don't be ashamed. But everyone's of it. buying it, so it's a sort of yeah. hypocritical circle. Like, I just I just think no one's got a good argument about why there's such an issue about nudity. It, it's just a thought process they've inherited, sort of thing. Everyone's got a body. You know, we all walk around True. covering up. And it's just like, Honestly, why? Yeah, given how like accepting society has become, I think this should be sex, one of the things. Nudity porn is like the biggest staple we're holding onto from the past. Yes, I want to show my boobs to the world. Yeah, and when people say like, "Oh, I'm not really into porn," I like, think, "Oh, you mean all the porn?" I think it's like saying like, "Oh, I'm not really into movies." You probably just haven't um, found something yeah, that you really like. For everyone. And yeah, there's so much out there. Um, and I think you deserve to find porn in your life. <laughs> what is the best thing about making porn? The fact that it's real. The fact that everything you do is 
it's with a connection, it's with love. It's enjoyable. I think, I think at our age, showing people that we're still having fun is good. Yeah. Actually, that, that maybe back to that liberation thing, that, yeah. that whole empowerment and liberation thing, certainly as a, a woman. So if you could say anything to people who don't understand why people would film themselves having sex, what would you tell them? Try it. Try it, yes. <laughs> try it. I'd say try it for yourself. Yeah, oh my gosh, yeah. I always ask people why they don't do it. And they go, oh no, I can do something like that. A lot of it comes back to body issues, I find. As well, it's, oh, what if your children see it? So what? <laughs> I think most people have this idea of it being like attention seeking or whatever else. And I would like to say, what's wrong with seeking a bit of attention? <laughs> Why don't you go and seek some attention as well? You might enjoy it. <laughs> people are very protective of their partners, I, I think. Which I, I do sort of get, like, I like this. But, um, <laughs> oh, if a couple wanted to go out to a party, the guy would want his girl to look nice to him, show her off. And I think that's just what I do. That's what the way it feels in my head. Like I'm just showing you off a bit more. Mm. <sighs> so many people have insecurities when it comes around. Oh my god, so true. Like then... what they look like during mm. sex or what their partner might think that they're uh, like, like trying to hide roles and you yeah, like I'm like no one's looking at your roles exactly <laughs> it's like film it and you're gonna see that like it's not about that it's about your presence and you don't have to perform you can just enjoy yourself and you're mm. gonna look so beautiful ah. it's so hard doing that yeah. you try it you don't know it, you may not like it you it might not work for you you don't know but why not try it try anything to try anything twice, right? Mm. <laughs> Don't say no. <laughs> We're on that's three, obviously, under Oliver and April. And of course, you can find our videos on lustry.com uh, if you just look for Eva and Rue. Yay! Thank you very much for coming. You stay. We'll go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for your hospitality. Thank you. Thank you. Lovely to meet Enjoy. you. Enjoy. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Aww. Aww. Oh, they were lovely. I feel weird entering back through my house after just saying goodbye. Shall I stop it? Yeah. Like, shall I stop it now? <laughs>